Hello. And first of all, thank you for giving me some of your valuable time. My name is Larry Morrison. I'm the financial shaman. In this video, we're going to break down the myth that you can't disagree with logic. Every time I think of logic based people, I think about uh, Star Trek and Vulcan, Spock, right? Or machines. Um, algorithms are, are logic based, right? So, why is it that you that we have trouble disagreeing with logic? Well, first of all, we all we all understand, and if we don't, let's take a step back and talk about it for a second. Got nothing but time, right? If we were all logical, would that be what's best for for your life or the human species? Meaning, can you see where being only logical hurts you? Well, the e an easy example would be if, um, let's say, you're working with someone and sparks fly and you feel flirty and you know playful and want to maybe fall in love or start a relationship with this person, but your logic would say, you can't do that, you don't shit where you eat, right? And I'm not saying there's anything right or wrong about that. I'm just saying you don't want to mess with your money or your job, so don't do that. That's the logical answer, but then you're stifling what your heart wants and potentially love, right? So take a second and really say to yourself or ask yourself, is using logic all of the time what's best? And for me as a man, and if other men are watching this, which I assume will happen, it is difficult to go against your own logic, right? Ten, typically, men are more logic-based, women are more emotion-based, and so women are easier to trust their emotions and trust their heart and trust how something feels to make sense of it, right? But men are very much more logic-based, but we have to understand that it's logical to destroy the earth for profit. That's a problem. It's logical to create a nuclear weapon and drop it on someone you disagree with. That's a problem. Right? So we can see log com uh, on all logic, like completely putting all your eggs in the basket of logic, will create problems. The mind is a tool, and if you put that tool on a pedestal, you will run into problems, just like we've talked about. To take the mind off a pedestal and make it a tool again, you have to put something else on the pedestal, which in my opinion is best to put your heart or your heart's wisdom, your soul's wisdom, your higher self, whatever. Making the mind a tool to bring about the wisdom of the heart is what I found is best. Because logic is what? Logic is always, 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 always based on past experiences. Okay, you step on a, um, you walk walking barefoot, you step on a pine cone, logic would dictate, wear shoes, wear sandals, wear something to stop that from happening, right? So your logic is always trying to protect you from pain, okay? Your logic is always trying to protect you from pain, but your heart may want to go toward the pain, right? May want to take that leap of faith and talk to that person at, at your work to build a relationship. And fall in love with, even though there might be pain of losing your job, changing jobs, having a broken heart, having a shitty work situation, having to quit your job, whatever, there might be pain. There's a large risk of pain going in that direction. However, there's also pain with not doing that, with stifling your emotions. They're going to erupt somehow. And you're going to be sad. You're going to be drinking a beer with your buddies, and all of a sudden you just erupt with emotion. It's like, I can't find a good woman or a good spouse or a good lover. Even though your heart is saying you could start talking to that one at your job if you weren't so obsessed with logic. Your logic is trying to protect you from pain. But either way you cut, you slice it, there's pain in this world. You're going to, excuse me, you're going to encounter pain no matter what. No matter what, there's pain. So your relationship to pain is largely why it's difficult to disagree with logic. Think about it for a second. If you weren't afraid of pain, 
Why wouldn't you just follow your heart? My grandmother, rest her soul, told me years ago, words I'll never forget. Why did I do anything except listen to my heart? Of course, she said that when she was elderly and about to die, but it was true. Why didn't I do anything but listen to my heart? Why didn't I follow my heart? Why is it that at the end of life you can be like, wow, I safely got to death or my deathbed? What's that old saying? It's like most people tiptoe through life just to wind up safely at death's door. So first thing we have to do when it comes to disagreeing with your logic or someone else's logic is understand that all of their logic is based on past experiences and it's trying to prevent pain. Right? When a, a parent hits a child, let's say they got too close to the hot stove or are walking barefoot, you know, and there's a bunch of pine cones around. So they're going to be like, hey, get over here and put your shoes on and hit them to reinforce this. You're not interested in preventing the child pain in the moment. You're interested in preventing child pain in the future. That is how logic works. It says, what do we need to do to prevent pain? So you go to a job you hate, possibly, to prevent the pain of not having enough money to pay the bills. But you don't recognize that you're going to a job you hate, which is also pain. No matter which way you slice it, you got to choose your pain. What kind of pain do you want to endure in this life? To me, it was really simple. I either go toward what my heart is telling me to do and go toward it with reckless abandon. Fuck a normal life. I'm just going to go this direction. And yeah, it's been hell. But the other side is I play it safe. And now I have to deal with the pain of regret constantly. I wonder what would have happened if I followed my heart. And then I'd worry about ending up like my grandmother. Either way you slice, you're going to deal with pain. The pain of regret or the pain of the challenges you're going to incur or come up against when you follow your heart. Which way do you want to go? But I'll tell you right now, logic is trying to prevent pain, not get you to the best life of your best life. Taking logical steps to something, may, like if we're talking about how to cook a, a pie or a pizza or a meal, of course there's logical steps involved. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how to approach life. When you approach life purely based on logic, do you recognize that what you're going to do is try to nest and make yourself comfortable and safe? Do you believe the life of your dreams is found? playing it safe and then you gotta ask safe from what well safe from pain but what kind of pain safe from what so i get the i work for 40 years at a job i hate just to safely get to retirement but now you got to look back on a life you didn't fucking like it can be logical to do something you don't want to do because you've had parents and people have you do things you don't want to do for quite some time. But why would you do anything you don't want to do unless you were trained to logically say, I have to do these things for the people in my life to be happy. All I'm trying to do on this video is challenge logic. Because logic doesn't necessarily mean wisdom. It just means you've gone through an experience that you may or may not want to repeat. So if you want to repeat it, you repeat the steps. That's logic. If you don't want to repeat it, you change the steps to avoid that painful experience. That's logic. So to disagree with your own logic or someone else's logic is simply to ask, or you can just disagree, but it's simply to ask someone, how did you arrive at that belief system? And they will tell you, well, I had this experience, this experience, and this experience. And then the funny thing about that is, 
when you break down experiences that give you some that gives one someone logic about 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 money or about anything about relationships it's always based on the perception of what happened well i'll use one of mine and it's kind of, you know it's a little vulnerable but oh well the first time i fell in love when i was a youngster 22 I fell in love with a married woman now she was trying to get out of her marriage and I'm saying it like it's a bad thing. I didn't do anything illegal or immoral in my view. But because it was painful, the heartbreak, her leaving her husband, someone else, and all this other stuff, a lot of drama, a lot of pain, I said to myself, based on that heartbreak, I will never, ever fall in love with a married person again. I'll just wait. I'll just, and from that moment on, I didn't even look at married women as anything other than friends, right? So to me, it was logical to only date single women, right? However, it was my perception of that event that made those logical beliefs or made that logic up. If I look back and change the perception of what happened, which is it's not the fact that she was married, it's the fact that she wasn't right for me. Now everything works out, everything's right, you know, everything's supposed to happen the way it's supposed to happen. But I took the wrong lesson away. And that wrong lesson was what was making my logic and all, all the decisions based on that logic. So if you go back and change the perception of what happened, the logic also has to change. And typically, when we find stress or negative emotion or you know depression, people have done what they've been asked of them and used their parents' logic or society's logic or whatever to get them to a life that doesn't make them happy. They're safe but unhappy. Because logic will only prevent pain. It cannot bring you to the life of your dreams. It cannot bring you to fulfillment. So hopefully something I've said has helped you here today. But to disagree with someone's logic is just to disagree with someone's past experiences. And when you are making things logical, make sure that it's not in a prevention of pain. And the next time you come across something where your heart leaps, but your mind says that could be painful, just tell it. So could the regret of not doing it. We're going to choose our pain either way. But make the conscious choice. Don't let your mind make it for you. Thank you for watching. If, you'd, if you're looking for relief from financial stress, come hang out on my website, financialshaman.com. I'll see you next time.